Hello arcade gamers and welcome back to Biggie D's Arcade. Today we're going to be doing a walk and talk uh, post Black Friday. So today's Saturday, the day after Black Friday. And for our home arcade community, a lot of the products that we were interested in, we didn't see that extreme savings. It was pretty lackluster for our Black Friday sales. Uh, you know, the $299 or less buying a uh, range there of that 300 or less point. We didn't really see that on any of the arcade one-ups except for that head-to-head -head, uh, Marvel versus Capcom table at 299 or 285 on Amazon. Didn't really see anything, you know, extremely low. Um, even that Yoga Flame that I had as my number one for Black Friday still sat at $350 at Kohl's with about $105 Kohl's cash. Still looking to get that cabinet for 300 or less. Now, we do have Cyber Monday coming up here in just a couple of days, and that's what I want to focus this walk and talk on, is what might be coming on Monday. So we're going to travel to this Walmart inside to uh, Peoria, Arizona Walmart here, see if they have any arcade one-ups in stock, see if they're doing any discounts, trying to get rid of anything right before Christmas. Also, we're going to head to Best Buy, see what inventory they have in stock in store for arcade one-up kind of predict and give you guys a little bit of a head start on what may be coming for Cyber Monday here in just a couple of days. And then also we will go to the mall in Peoria, Arizona, check out Joystick Arcade. I've gone there a few times, but it's been a few months. So I want to see if they've updated it, given us any new arcades in there. Uh, and then we can use that setting to talk about maybe what may be coming here in just a couple of days for Cyber Monday. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this walk and talk. And let's go ahead and head inside. All right, guys, so was not expecting to see this. So we were here just a few weeks ago, and they had probably six or seven arcade one-ups here. They had NFL Blitz. They had MK 30th Anniversary. They had Yellow Miss Pac-Man. They had Black Miss Pac-Man. These are all sold. And it doesn't look like they had any extreme savings. Maybe it's just because of the holidays. These are a hot ticket item in store because they were selling at $2.99 with $59 risers. They still have the display here for the yellow Pac-Man Legacy. I'm also noticing they have one other straggler over here. One yellow Miss Pac-Man or one yellow Pac-Man 14 in one. It's got some dog food on it here. Not sure why. And it's sitting over here in the corner. I checked with the guy to see maybe if this was a clearance item. It is still $2.99. So not quite sure why these are selling so quickly other than Christmas is right on the corner. And people are looking for gifts. And these are $300. So these must be selling pretty well in store at Walmart. And that's a good sign for next year. And Walmart picking up some more products from Arcade went up starting in 2024 but was not expecting to see an empty space here considering we were here just a few weeks ago and they had seven or eight units in stock. So let's move to the next place, Best Buy. This is that Elgato face cam that I got here for streaming. So if you guys watched my iArcade Ultimate Control Panel video or live stream just a couple days ago, I did two of them, split them into part one, part two. I was using this Elgato face cam for the control deck and it what's nice about it is 1080p runs at 60 frames per second so it's good for gameplay like that it came in at 119 dollars not too bad i recommend this elgato what face cam still haven't made the move to vr uh, i thought maybe i would be doing it on black friday but there was just no extreme deals on the meta 3 or the psvr 2 not enough to make me want to pull the trigger quite yet so maybe next black friday all right guys here's our arcade one up setup uh you know we were here a few weeks ago and we had noticed that they had moved all their inventory to the front um looks like they're sticking with that we've got uh, mortal kombat 2 on display here a deluxe edition it is off so let's see if we can turn it on no no power No power to the Arcade 1UP screen. Uh, we do have some prices here. So $3.99 on Pac-Man Deluxe. $4.49 on NFL Blitz. $3.99 on Miss Pac-Man Class of 81. 
whoa, uh, it says $3.99 for Big Buck Pro, but then you look at the tag and it says Mortal Kombat. Uh, NBA GM, $5.49, Terminator 2, $3.15, 32-inch game board or table, $9.99, and Infinity Game Board, $4.99. So standard pricing, I mean, we're getting $100 off on the Pac-Man Deluxe and 100 off on the Class of 81 Deluxe and 100 off Mortal Kombat Deluxe. Um, that will probably run through this weekend and we'll see what Cyber Monday has to hold. Hopefully we get some extreme savings, you know, another 50 or 100 off some of these cabinets might make some people pr pull the trigger and purchase these. So Cyber Monday, you guys have a chance and an opportunity to sell some of these cabinets. It looks like there's still a lot in stock. Um, they have them up at the front, so on our way out, we'll go check those out. You know, I was talking about that Tapper Arcade one up with the fridge built inside. And I thought that would make a perfect Best Buy exclusive because they already sell the refrigerators. They make a small one, fits into the Tapper cabinet. They sell it here in store at Best Buy. They have people here that can answer the questions. Uh, and they could, you know, partner with a refrigerator brand. Any brand would work. All right, guys, so here's all the arcade one-ups right here at the front. Black Friday is here, $3.99. Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe, $3.99. Pac-Man Deluxe. Looks like we're still at $5.99 on the Wheel of Fortune. It looks like they have four in stock. And we've got four Big Buck Pros in stock here at the front. $5.99 on those. We'll see what Cyber Monday holds. Wow, guys, I just had to show this monitor off. Look at this thing extremely wide Samsung monitor I have not seen anything like this before kind of pricey too $1200 Odyssey OLED G9 49 inch curved dual QHD 240 Hertz free sync premium pro monitor Wow imagine having that on your desk All right, guys, at Arrowhead Mall, heading up to the second floor. And we're going to go to Joystick Arcade and see what they have there. Okay, guys, we've got the whole Joystick Arcade to ourselves. It is nice to see a cleaning lady here cleaning up the machines, keeping them all nice and clean, getting the germs off all the steering wheels and guns and joysticks here. Even though there really aren't that many joysticks in Joystick Arcade except for these claw machines here. They've got a ton of claw machines. They've got uh, four, plus they've got this huge one right here with the Sonic plush dolls and the Gremlins and Pikachu and Rick and Morty in the back there. That's pretty cool. And of course, they got this uh, Jurassic Park, Raw Thrills. This is a staple in the arcades. One of the best arcades ever made right here. Raw Thrills version of Jurassic Park. Took after Sega's Jurassic Park to make that happen. Right here, Guitar Hero Arcade. I think Arcade went up. This is a must do for them. They could absolutely do a home version of this. No issues. We've got some more claw machines right here. We've got a total of four more on this side. We've got the Flappy Bird with a bunch of electronics. Uh, you got earbuds, headphones, some Mario plush dolls in there, Pikachu. You got a change machine right here. You know, New Wave Toys, they've done a change machine. You know, would Arcade One Up ever make a, a home arcade version of a change machine? I guess it's always possible. This is a new arcade. We were wondering if there were going to be any new arcades here. On this visit, there definitely is. There's a brand new looking Mario Kart GP DX. And we've got a Raw Thrills Dirty Driving here. We've got a Boxer. You know, these boxing machines are always really popular. You hit the punching bag. This one's kind of cool as well because you have prizes you could win based on how hard you punch the punching bag. 
and we've got a Star Wars Battle Pod here. I have played this Star Wars Battle Pod before, last time I was here. It looks like it's down today, but it is a very fun game, and this is a very good shape Battle Pod Star Wars right here. So, starting to get some people here in the arcade now. And we got a Big Buck HD Wild right here, guys. The number one hunting game just got better. This is what I'm hoping, guys. I'm hoping that Arcade One Up next year will do a Big Buck pedestal. You know, pedestal for the home, bring your own TV. Doesn't matter which TV, as long as it's got HDMI. They're using an LG here, but how cool would that be, guys, to get a Big Buck HD in our homes made by Arcade One Up? It's just simply the pedestal. We're just buying that, and we're bringing our own TV. Magic Cut, huge Pokemon in there. Pikachu. Very cool. I'm glad that they have added this uh, Mario Kart arcade GP DX this is an excellent choice if you're gonna add something in here my only gripe about this place is it is called the joystick arcade right guys and there's very few joysticks in this arcade except for the claw machines okay guys just wanted to wrap up this walk and talk I went to a park here close by to that mall a little bit windy I was gonna walk around this park um, but we got a little bit of wind and I had forgot the little fur thing for my DJI mic so the audio wasn't sounding very good so I'm standing here behind this brick wall in the shade and blocking that wind so you guys can hopefully hear me but I just kind of wanted to wrap up this walk and talk uh, with a little bit of discussion um, you know we've first started out at Walmart I was very surprised to see that they had sold those NFL blitzes the black miss pac-mans and also I found it uh, you know odd or strange that they had sold off those MK 30ths as well um, at $299 um, these were all you know regular priced uh, $299 we've been seeing that that standard pricing on all those cabinets so I was surprised to see that they had pretty much sold them all out all that was left was that yellow Pac-Man Legacy. It was the only one left, and it was $2.99. So uh, very surprising to see that. That's a very good indication, though, for Walmarts that they should be stocking these $2.99, uh, what we call the classic line, without the riser and without the lip marquee, because they're selling. And every Walmart should have them, if that's the case. Um, so hopefully 2024 will bring a new line of classic cabs to the Walmart stores and we'll start to see them more at uh, you know every Walmart rather than just you know a few Walmarts in the area because you know I'll have to drive you know five ten miles to find one that has arcade one ups so there's not many left so maybe that will change next year based on what we saw today that they are selling out also I wanted to talk a little bit about Best Buy so Best Buy has $100 off on their deluxe cabinets, the uh, Class of 81, the Pac-Man, the MK2 are all $100 off. Um, but that Wheel of Fortune still maintaining at $599. That uh, Big Buck uh, Pro Deluxe is still at $599. I uh, was hoping to see at least $100 off for Black Friday. So maybe we get that on Monday. I think we do. I think we may see, you know, $4.99 Will of Fortune Casino Cade or $4.99 Big Buck Pro Deluxe here in uh, just a couple days on Cyber Monday for $4.99. I think that's definitely possible. I think that's likely, being that we didn't see any discounts over Black Friday. Uh, they still had a lot of inventory too. We saw they had four of the Big Buck Pro Deluxes, they had four of the Will of Fortune Casino Cades. Pretty much same inventory we saw a few weeks ago at Best Buy. Doesn't look like they've been selling a lot. So uh, they're gonna have to get that price down. You know, $3.99 on the Class of 81, I think is a good deal. $3.99 on the Pac-Man Deluxe is a good deal. 
$399 on NK2 Deluxe is a good deal. Those I think are selling. But to get those Big Buck Pros and to get those Wheel of Fortunes out before Christmas, they're going to have to drop that price, $100. Um, also, I thought it was, this is outside of Best Buy and outside of Walmart we just visited. But Wayfair has $150 off on Time Crisis right now. That was a shock to me. I did not see that coming. I did not see any discounts on Time Crisis this Black Friday. And of all stores, Wayfair. Why Wayfair? Why were they 150 off where Walmart was not? And Shop Hippo, the exclusive retailer, was not. So that was very surprising to see. So we've seen some things this Black Friday I did not predict or did not expect to happen. But... Uh, there were a lot of things like that Yoga Flame that I predicted would be the lowest priced arcade one up in during the Black Friday weekend, and that has been the case. We've seen 350 on that. I, I would have liked to have seen that gone down to 299, definitely. Um, 250 would have been great. Uh, I did not pull the trigger on uh, purchasing that Yoga Flame, even with the $105 Kohl's cash at Kohl's at 350. I still didn't do it. I think I can do better. And I think we are going to do better on uh, Cyber Monday here in just a couple of days. I think uh, you may see a $2.99 Yoga Flame at one of these retailers. So if the Kohl's cash is not important to you, but saving money is, you know, on the initial purchase, then I think wait it out till Monday. If you could use the $100 Kohl's cash, I think that's going to be your best deal. So you might as well go ahead and move on it today or tomorrow. Uh, before that 105 Kohl's cash ends. Otherwise, wait till Monday. You could probably save a little money on that initial sell, getting you know another 50 to 100 dollars off. Um, also, I wanted to talk a little bit about that Joystick Arcade. So Joystick Arcade is like a regular place I like to go on these walk and talks because it's a small little arcade. They don't care if you film in there. A lot of times it's not busy, so we can kind of take a look at everything. And I thought we may get a new arcade in there between our last trip and this one, and we did. And I was happy to see that it was that Mario Kart DX. I think that Mario Kart DX is an excellent arcade to have if you're running a small arcade because it's family friendly, people are gonna play it, people love Mario, it's a fun game to play. And uh, it's just one of those all around good times for anyone who walks into that arcade. Uh, and that's going to be one of those ones that brings in quite a bit of revenue, I think, for the arcade. So that was a good choice. Takes up a lot of room, but good choice, Joystick Arcade. Um, but uh, didn't really see anything in there that is home arcade related or what I, you know, I could relate to home arcade except for that big buck. Uh, that was a big buck uh, HD, HD. Um, it would be nice to see Arcade 1UP next year do a big buck HD with a pedestal and we bring our own TV. I've been saying that and I think that's the way to go. You know, everyone complains about the screen size, that small 17 inch screen. Even if they upgraded to a 19 inch screen and did an XL, it's still not big enough. We really need a widescreen TV up there and that pedestal would be the perfect option. You just sell that piece, we bring our own TV. I think that's the solution on that. But uh, also they would have to upgrade their hardware. Again, we're sticking with the same old PCB, it looks like, going into next year, unless something new is announced. And to push games like Big Buck HD, you're gonna need a chipset on the level or on the same level as that games. So we'll see if Arcade 1UP steps up to the plate. There we go, fix that. We'll see if Arcade 1UP steps up to, to the plate and gives us what we're asking for, which is better hardware. We'll see if they can make that happen. But I will tell you something, guys. Something I, th I think I, I'm starting to see, starting to see the writing on the wall for this. But if Arcade 1UP does not announce anything new in January at CES, I think they're done. There's just, you know, we had the AVP leak. If they don't announce that, or something new in January, I just don't see a future for this company. They're not releasing anything new. They're not doing anything exciting. You know, no one's really buying the products that are out there this Black Friday, or not, you know, mass amount of people aren't. We saw a lot of inventory at Best Buy today. I've been noticing in the home arcade community and not a lot of people were buying during the Black Friday sales this weekend. 
you know, pretty lackluster, um, not exciting prices this weekend. And I think that's an indication of, uh, you know, things to come. And uh, if Arcade1Up does not release a new product, if they do not give us something new by the start of next year, I just don't see a future for this company anymore. And uh, you guys let me know out in the comments and anyone watching this video, what do you guys think? What do you expect to see from Arcade1Up next year? And do you think Arcade1Up is going to be around after next year? Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this walk and talk. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow night. Of course, every Sunday night I'm doing my live streams. I'm also working on video for my Ghost and Goblins review for New Wave Toys. Uh, I'm definitely going to put my time into this one and uh, dedicate, you know, a good chunk of my time to making sure that this review is an excellent review. I don't want it to just be lost in all the other Ghost and Goblins New Wave Toys reviews that are out there. I want this one to stand out. And I want this one to be something special that people want to watch. So it's going to take me a little bit of time and effort to make this review. But uh, I'm getting along. I'm moving along. I'm uh, recording my B-roll video right now. I've done my intro for it. And I'll be working on that again tonight. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Hope you guys have enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are enjoying your shopping this weekend for Christmas. I did throw a couple of Christmas deals, $100 Christmas deals in the community post today. Uh, one of them was that Sega Astro Mini V for $109. I think that's a killer deal. Excellent gift idea for Christmas. Also that Marvel uh, Super Heroes countercade for 100 at Target. If you can still find one of those, I think that's an excellent $100 low cost Christmas purchase for home arcade. Um, but, uh, you know, those countercades aren't going to keep Arcade One Up in business. That's just a small part of what they do. It's good to see that success in that countercade, but they got to drop those prices. They got to get them more competitive for us as customers to be interested in going out and spending our hard earned money on more Arcade One Ups right now. So, you guys let me know again in the comments what you think about that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this walk and talk. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. I'll see you all later.